Check this out, family. She has a real piercy look. Yeah, my husband's afraid of her. He yelled. We woke up. We thought he fell out of the bed. But no, he was in the kitchen because the dog was approaching him and she was right in front of him. He said, did you send her over here? Did you bring her over here? She said, no, I was asleep. She said, no, it's because you're mean to me. You insult me, you yell at me. And Rosita gets mad. How interesting this about Rosita. And little girl say, I, <laughs> I put her like this. And the doll starts moving her arms slowly. And people ask her, ma'am, why does she move her arm? She says, I don't know. It just moves all of a sudden. This is a wig. This is a wig. She has this hair because she's hair is falling out. She's starting to get bald. She has her. She has her headband. Look at her arm. Look at her. It moved a little bit. Well, that could be explained by the weight of the arm. Look, 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 look. look. Moving slowly. And I already showed them that it has no batteries or mechanism in her feet. No, it has nothing. Her feet, her fingers are wearing out. Her toes, even her neck is wearing out also. Look it, look it. Basically, wearing out from her legs also. We're tearing. Wow, she looks creepy right there. Basically, I could tell you guys more facts about this doll. She basically says that people ask her why is she at the window looking out does she put her that way and the lady says that she doesn't that she uh, on her own sometimes looks out the window people confuse her for a real little girl a lot of times she basically walks on her own when you hold when you hold her hand she walks with people but it's really rare it's really rare and people like trying to make her walk with them that's what he's trying to do right now trying to make her walk with him and um, with the owner she makes her walk like normal she also says that at night, if she forgets to put her in a room with her, that um, that she starts moving and the dog starts barking and she moves to new places. And um, she has to put her in a room so she can stay calm. She says that. Mm, basically, what I notice is that these dogs that are not normal, they do have a real look to them like they look more real than normal dolls like I said people confuse her for a real little girl cuz I don't know it's like something possesses possesses them possesses them and it's creepy <laughs> it's creepy that she's a and then the poster she has back there, Halloween and all that, it's like she's inviting freaking things into her house. So that doesn't surprise me. Bueno, aquí tengo mi muñeca que se llama Baby Alive. Mi Jessie. Mi, mi muñeca que le llamo Chucky, ¿no? Ay, mamá. My toys move. That's not possible. Look at it. Ooh, call your daddy. <laughs> this is a dog that was just unbagged. 
they were waiting for her a lot of people she's famous they're gonna upload this video to their page she's saying we have her she's here the doll of quinceanera 15 years she has a red dress she has a face of surprise like she's scared Amazing. She looks not that old, but I could feel the sensation. I'm not gonna say it's something more scary, but I could tell. Said, but that's weird how the little girl was telling her dad that the dog pulled this, her hair, that she would slap her, and that she would scratch her. There's talking about how they're gonna uh, show future videos and pictures. They're giving this dog to Alejandro, who has a collection of haunted dolls. He's gonna take her to a place where they have the rest of the objects. They're gonna analyze her. They take pictures. They leave video recording for 24 hours 48 hours depending to see if there's something manifesting the idea of this is to have evidence that the story is backed up of the family what their claims it has history it has history is not good basic he's saying how he could tell that there's a strange vibe in her that he has experience experience like when he goes into investigations his experience tells him that there's something not normal about this dog he could something different a lot of experts say something must have happened Something must have happened. He's talking about people that do voodoo and black magic. Talking about a bunch of investigators that do research into Santeria voodoo. They're they're giving their point of view. They're saying something must have happened. There must be some kind of being inside of this doll. They're wondering if she was saved or for a long time or when she was given, something was done to this doll. I think that a lot of times not even the families know what's going on. They're not aware was going on till at later after the fact it's a it's an experience thing you know, started going through the experience he talks about how they're going to be recording video and audio and this guy has a baphomet on his sweater so he must have experience with this kind of stuff Grab her arm, she feels heavy. She doesn't want to walk. Look it. See it. Let the lady do it. This guy must be heavy the way he breathes. Anyways, another creepy doll for you guys from Mexico. Where a lot of creepy things happen. Oh. 
seeing how her feet move. This is a collection of haunted dolls. Only a weirdo would have a bedroom like this. Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to open my package that was given to me for my birthday, number 20. I'm going to put some dramatic music. She doesn't look 20, but I guess she just has a baby face like your boy. Speed it up a little bit. I couldn't believe this, man. and I bet a lot of people couldn't believe this when they saw it. It was unbelievable that material things, Hollywood movies, could produce this kind of attachment. Good guy, Chucky. Chucky, I mean. I just want people to know that she says she doesn't want to mess up the box because this is the original box. Like I was saying I want people to know that material things are garbage compared to garbage compared to higher these entities higher from higher realms they could produce any material at will and you can see it in the videos of magicians when they team up with these entities they could create anything anything at will and people 
don't have a clue about that. But this is trickery. We think that we scarcity is real, but it's not. Jesus produced food for a lot of people from one fish and one loaf of bread. This stuff is real. Material things are garbage compared to these higher realms, especially in these higher realms. They don't deal with material things. Material things are worthless in the higher realms. That's what I want people to understand. Movies, music, I don't know, a lot of things create these kind of attachments. Plays. What I wish I had is real knowledge, real wisdom. She says, I always wanted this. What I want is the wisdom, how to not be stuck in this, in this realm where we keep being lied to over the most basic things like who we really are, where we come from. That's what I really cherish She doesn't have friends. She's very lonely. Better to be alone than to have bad friends, that's for sure. idol for her her idol Chucky and that's not cool that's lowering her vibration right there reducing her self dramatically welcome to the upside down Well, I say it in front of you guys, I don't want no material thing. I want the truth. I want to go home. Not being stuck in this shithole. Says thank you, I know you're working, but I appreciate this gift. Now I have company. His name is Charlie Rui Ray. So your name is Chucky and we'll be friends forever.